Oh. Hey, this is Bobby Chester from Speed Digital in my classic garage here in beautiful Bowling Green, Kentucky, home of the NMCA National Muscle Car Association National Event. I'm, I'm here with John Doe, affectionately known with John Doe, with Scott Taylor, and he's here for the weekend making some passes and everything. He, uh, you can see him every week on uh, Discovery Channel on Street Outlaws, New Orleans, and he has one of the fastest cars in the country with his setup, and uh, we're just going to talk to him about how he got started. Uh, how'd you get started racing? Daddy, after the car, Absolutely. My dad always raced. And as a kid, that's all I ever dreamed about was racing. Yeah. And, uh, never thought I'd be racing on the level that we race at now. But uh, we just you know, we started out just bracket racing. And that's, that's where my heart's still at. But, yeah. uh, we do this also. What was your first car? What was your first race? Uh, 67 Camaro was my first car. Oh, really? Small block car? Big block car? Uh, small block. Yeah. We have a lot of them uh, on the collector sites. We do all the time. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. A lot. How did you get started with the... Uh, Beat Kai in one of the big races in Hattiesburg, and okay. after that it just started started rolling. For us. Next thing you know, I got John Doe on the street, and, uh, and then it sort of went from there. So it went from nine second passes to seven second passes. Now you switched the interesting race. I remember I'm sure you had nitrous uh, explosives, nitrous pump. Yes, the turbo had to have that one. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge learning curve, but uh, when I reach in to crank it up, I don't have to worry about any backfires or pops or bangs. It, uh, the fuel injection system for big stuff is just as it's, it's cool as it gets. It's on alcohol. I don't care if it's uh, 30 degrees outside or 100 degrees outside. I'll take the window and fire it up and sit there and idle perfect. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we see on TV a lot and everything you show you watch the show. Is it hectic? In real life, does it look like on TV? Absolutely. Uh, we're running around with our head cut off about 99% of the time. We yep. have no time to get our cars back right. Uh, we, we live week to week and uh, you never know what we're going to do. Next week we'll be in New Orleans. We care that we'll be in Texas. I mean, it's just one week, uh, week to week is hectic. What's coming up on the schedule, if you can tell us? Is the uh, Texas uh, guys coming up or the Oklahoma guys coming up? Or uh, can you give us insight on that? Probably all of the above. But, uh, <laughs> Um, nothing set in stone, so I, I won't really talk about that. But uh, but we are starting to film in about a week again for season two. So season two will be coming up for New Orleans. So. We wish you all kind of luck and everything. We're going to follow you. Make sure you keep posting on the website. And we'll see you then. Thank you, sir. Okay. Appreciate the time. Thank you.